Hey y'all, it's Hope and welcome back to my running channel. Today is Sunday, which means it's my long run day. I also have church today, which means I'd wake up pretty early to fit this run in, but I'm about to go. I'm gonna try and do like six and a half to seven today, although I'm also gonna see how my legs are feeling. They might be, my calves feel like they might be a little sore. So I'll see. Also, there's a chance it's gonna start raining while I'm running. It's supposed to be light rain, but hopefully that doesn't happen. If it's light, I'll just keep running, but if it starts getting heavy, I'll have to and my run early but yeah i'm gonna take it really slow I'll probably be like in between nine to ten minute pace I'll try and take it very slow I'm gonna try to not let myself be in the eights although usually that's how i start off at least i'm gonna try and run like a different route than i've done before just so i can kind of get on some different streets to make it a little more fun i think running on the same spots every single day has been starting to get a little boring but recently i've been going some different areas so that's been fun so i'm gonna do that today okay yeah let's go do that <laughs> It's not hot at all, but it is really humid. So I feel like once I get sweaty, it'll start to be pretty warm. But like I said, it's not that hot. It's probably in like the 70s right now. Um, while I'm run, I'm gonna be listening to the Convos Over Cold Brew podcast, which is by Emma Abrahamson. She used to be a runner and she interviews a lot of runners. But yeah, let's get going. Shooting for like six, six and a half, maybe seven. But like I said, depends on how my legs are feeling. Yeah. I just hit one mile in at like 9.13 or something, so nice and slow. So there's like five to six miles left. Okay, I am four and a half miles in, so I think I'm gonna do seven today, which means I have like two and a half left. I decided to take my first break. On my long runs, I usually let myself take like one to two breaks. It's not really a big deal to take breaks on just like long runs as long as they're not too long of breaks. Like I said, I'm taking a different route today. It's kind of like a little maze trying to figure out how to get back, but I think I see a spot where I've run a lot before. So I'm just gonna run to there and then run home from that spot. Like I said, taking a short little break. I might take one other break. On my long runs, I take like one to two breaks depending on how far I've run, how far I'm going. So I'll probably just either finish from here or I'll take one more break when I have like a mile and a quarter left, I think. But yeah, honestly, I'm feeling really good. This is gonna be my first time doing seven miles since since like sixth grade in sixth grade i was training for a half marathon actually and then i ended up getting injured so didn't do it but the longest one i got to was seven and a half so there's a good chance that i'll be breaking that record soon which i'm really excited about okay enough stalling i need to get back to my run I ended up taking an early break because I came by the water spout and every single time I pass it on my runs, I have to stop and get a drink. It feels so good mid-run to stop and drink some water. And when it's hot out, I'll like splash my face. Oh, I love that thing right there. It's so nice. I just finished my seven mile long run. That was my longest run in a really long time. Like, since I got injured in sixth grade. So I'm really proud of myself for that. It wasn't like a crazy fast pace, but long runs aren't supposed to be. Now I need to rinse off quick, have breakfast, and get ready for church. OK, 
Okay, I just rinsed off of my hair in a towel. Last night, I made the mix for my pancakes to save time this morning. So right now I have the griddle heating up and I'm gonna stretch. And then once I'm done, the griddle should be ready to make pancakes. Although I'm gonna need to be quick because I do have to leave for church in like 30 minutes. church and I'm gonna change now and then I'm gonna do some more stretching and rolling up my muscles because I didn't have much time to stretch when I got back and I also need to roll everything out everything is already kind of tight but hopefully rolling it out and stretching will help that On this channel I really only film things that are like running or fitness or health related so I like film my run or my workout and then kind of stretching and rolling out after that and then what I eat but I don't really film anything else but at the same time that's kind of what this channel is it's like supposed to be running and fitness focused I don't know this week I actually have two meets coming up the one on Tuesday is just a practice meet it's with like three other schools and it's the way it's set up it's really different than a normal meet but I'm excited it's, it's like in relay form but not just normal relay form so three people person a runs a mile person b runs a mile then person three runs a mile and then person a runs another mile person b runs another mile and person c runs another mile so it's like two miles but split up which I think is kind of cool and I'm excited for that. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. It is just a practice meet. It's gonna be like after school, it's gonna be at like five. So it's gonna be pretty hot, but it'll be fun. And then we are driving to Dallas for a meet. And it's another relay one, which is kind of funny because relay meets are so uncommon in cross country and I have two in a week, but it's my only other one. And we have four people in that one and each person runs a mile and a half. So I'll be vlogging both of those. I'm really excited. So stay tuned for those videos, but yeah, I think I'm going to head to bed now. It's 8.30, so I'll probably like just watch YouTube until like 9, maybe read until like 9.30, but I'm going to try and go to bed because I like going to bed early and it's good for me. So yeah, actually I might grab some string cheese because I'm hungry. I really want popcorn, but it'll take like 10 minutes to make and I don't want to do that. Actually, it's only 8.30. I'm gonna make myself a tiny bit of popcorn. My coach was also saying I need to get more salt on my diet. So this is perfect.
guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you have a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like it, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Also, I would like to say my long runs are still getting longer. So if you want to see videos with my even longer long runs, then just stay tuned because they'll be coming at some point. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!